Would you rather be able to eat anything you want and have it be perfect nutrition or have to only sleep one hour a day and be fully rested? Interesting question. Perfect nutrition is a, is a mystery, of course. Um, there's, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this guy, Brian Johnson, um, some multimillionaire who's, who is currently studying his own body in a really extreme way. I think he said he's the most measured person in the world. So th he's taking multiple um, measurements per day. Um, he's al always connected to some kind of measuring device. And he's trying to figure out how to reverse his aging and, and basically live forever. I think that's kind of his goal. And um, there's, I mean, maybe he's close to having figured out what perfect nutrition is. Um, but overall, people are still debating this. Uh, and you know they are. If, you, uh, if you've if you listened to what's going on, there's this new um, discovery of the carnivore diet, which is really interesting. And I've looked into it. There's a Harvard study that was conducted. It's I mean, it's a survey, right? But it I think they... Um, mm, they asked more than 2,000 people to report on their uh, developments on the carnivore diet and they list a, they, li uh, they basically list any chronic disease you can imagine. Um, and the, and it, it seems as though the carnivore diet, so basically eating nothing but animal products, um, is improving almost all of it. I, I could actually, br I don't have it right now, but it's interesting. You can look it up um, yourself if you're interested in that. I find it very um, interesting. And then of course there's people still saying that meat is bad for you. And so the contradiction is obvious. There's um, there's just very, uh, yeah, it's, it's strongly debated. And so to eat anything I want and have it be perfect nutrition is uh, fantastic. But what I would say is the time that you gain by sleeping only one hour and be fully rested, that's the thing. You can sleep nine hours, but if you've gotten drunk or you've smoked weed or whatever you did, you might still not be perfectly rested. And so to guarantee that within one hour you can be fully rested, maybe if you've gotten drunk, you'll, you'll have like two hours of sleep, but then you definitely fully rested, something like that, right? That would be amazing. And you could spend so much time then figuring out how to improve your nutri nutrition, right? So you could, you could combine both of these things. But then also perfect nutrition would also improve your sleep. So it's, it's almost a coin flip situation for me where both of these things would be absolutely amazing. And it's difficult to pick. I, I do feel like only having to sleep one hour is a little bit more useful at this point, though. Um, because I think that you can... Well, maybe it isn't, right? Like Because we don't know what perfect nutrition is. We don't know what that means, even. It could, it could prevent cancer. It could prevent... Although that's also interesting, because sleeplessness... If you don't sleep enough, if you sleep six hours or less per day, that's linked to cancer and um, Alzheimer as well. There's a strong connection there. So sleep is also uh, connected to cancer. But I'm very sure the things we eat are um, are also um, cancer causing or cancer preventing, depending on what it is. You know, broccoli sprouts are are, um, are cancer preventing because of this um, compound sulforaphat or something like that sulforaphat yeah i believe that's what it's called something like that and um yeah so our scientific understanding of sleep and nutrition is so limited right now that i don't know what would be better it just seems on the surface that with the time I could also uh, improve other aspects of my life. Like I could play a lot of piano and get really good at that. I could paint a little bit. I could do whatever else I would like to learn. Do sport, get in really good shape and stuff like that. So I would choose the sleep. But I'm curious to know what you think.